Okay, today I'm just going to quickly run you through how to create downloadable links in your Shopify store. So uh, in this tutorial, we're not talking about downloadable products. We're just talking about downloadable files. So that could be um, a form that somebody needs to download and sign, or um, it could be things like sizing guides, um, just anything um, you, you want to offer as a download as opposed to something they view in the browser. So we're going to do it on a page. So we're going to jump into the online store menu and under there we're just going to go to pages and we're just in a dummy store so we've got no pages set up here so we're just going to go to add page and we're just going to call it size guide and we want people to download the size guide so ideally we'd be able to link it from here but unfortunately there's not actually a way to do that in the Shopify pages so what we're going to do is we're just going to up in the top right we're just going to save it and then we're going to come down here to the settings menu I'm just going to open that in a new tab so I don't lose my page and then in here it's just going to bring up all the Shopify settings one of them being files which is where everything's saved so we've got our images videos PDFs whatever you're saving um, and from here we can just go to upload files but before we do that we just jump out into finder and I've got my size guides here so to make them downloadable they're going to need to be something along the lines of a zip file because a browser makes a zip file a download as opposed to something they view in the browser so both of these files would just open in the browser a, a PNG is an image file a PDF um, it would just open it in a preview so if we we could either I'm on a Mac so uh, I can right click and just do compress so I can either do two items make those both into a zip or I could just do this one just on its own which is what I'm going to do just that one PDF if you're using a, a PC you it will be something along the lines of uh, just right clicking and using WinZip or whatever it is you've got installed there's usually some kind of compression option so if we just compress that down to a PDF, we've got it there. I'm just going to tidy the name of that up just to be called size guide or sizing guide. And we're going to come back to our store and then we've got it here, our zip file. And I'm just going to open that and that will just upload it into our store here. And then what we need to do is just get into here and we're going to copy that URL. And then we're going to come back to the page we were working on. And then what we want to do, if you highlight your text, you'll see this little icon here just popped open when we highlighted the text. And this is the insert link option. So we're going to click on that. And then we're just going to copy the link that we just uh, copied. And you can see it's our dot zip. Um, for open this link in, you can just leave that on same window because if you could do it in a new tab, it's just going to open a new tab and close it in most browsers straight away. So it's a little bit less jarring if you just keep it in the same window and it will just download straight to their machine. And then we can just hit insert link. And now if we go to save up in the top right and we go to view page just so we can preview what we've done. We've got our size guide page and here's our download link and we should be able to just click on it and you can see down here my size guides just downloaded and then we could go a step further if we wanted find it in our downloads folder place that down and then you can see our size guides just open up and we can view that as a PDF and there it is and that's it really so you can do that as many times as you like within your store you can upload lots of different types of files and it's um it's just really useful for um if you've got something that needs to go onto the user's machine as opposed to just something they look at in the browser so i hope that helped and if it has please give the video a like and if you want to see more shopify and e-commerce type tutorials then please subscribe